Hey guys, I'm on site, Royal Kingdom Estates with the CEO, Danny Angels. Mr. Angels, Hi, thank you Tony. for your time, sir. Thank you, where is Ayo? I want to say she's still on vacation, but uh, you know, she's busy working still. All right, all right. Yeah, so just a brief introduction of yourself and your company. So my name is Danny Angels. I'm the founding president of Royal Kingdom Estate. Uh, Royal Kingdom Estate is a one-stop shop real estate solution starting all the way from design, build, deco, and then property management, selling of lands and uh, Airbnb services, everything within the real estate space. We've been in operation for a little over a decade and we have solved problems. What kind of problems? We've solved real estate related problems. We are the kingdom of litigation free, stress free, real estate what? solution. I love that. I love that. So as related to diasporans, what is your history and experience with dealing with them as far as uh, buying houses and building houses? You know, it will interest you to know that currently 85% of our clientele base are diasporans. Diaspora, when I say diaspora, I'm talking about Ghanaians that have left Ghana many, many years who have given up on Ghana. Mm -hmm. They are the people we are bringing back, changing the story. We are attracting a lot of Caribbeans, a lot of African-Americans, people in North America, Europe. Those are the type of uh, demography, the people that our service really, really uh, is appealing to. Yes. Okay, great. What makes you and your company different from other developers here in Ghana? So let me, let me give you a quick background about myself. I used to work in hospitality for close to a decade. And, you know, you have people coming from North America, Euro, coming to lodge in the hotel just to buy a piece of land, buy a property in Ghana and settle here. I've heard all the horrible stories. So when I, by default, got the opportunity to work in real estate, I told myself that we are going to be agent of what change. Agent of what? Positive change. And we have been changing that narrative. It is as a result of changing that narrative. That is why I am seated in front of you here to continue to answer all the questions that your people have. Wow. And I'm ready to take more of them. <laughs> Keep it coming. Great. Keep I coming. got more Keep for you. <laughs> I got more for you. Um, one thing that people are experiencing coming here, trying to buy land from folk here is uh, they are buying land that people own yes you know somebody else owns it do you actually own the the land that you're saying i know you say you got hundreds of acres you own that so royal kingdom estate owns almost every land or property that we have we are not agents we are not brokers we are developers we own them entirely so if you are a Ghanaian citizen and we you are acquiring land from us we will lease you a 99 years lease if you are a non-Ghanaian, 50 years lease, and we have absolute ownership. We've registered all these uh, properties, and you're going to have what? Absolute peace of mind. If you want, today, I'll give you a plot. You can start building today. Do you oh. want to start building today? I might take you up on that. Watch yourself. So, so as far as credibility, you are a member of the, is it the Ghana Real Estate? No, uh, Royal Kingdom Estate uh, is chartering a new path, okay. creating a niche for it itself. How many CEOs of real estate companies in Ghana put their faces out there? I'm everywhere. I'm on YouTube. I'm everywhere. You know why? Right. I have nothing to hide. Right? So we are changing the narrative. Our goal and dream is to build cities and assemble our people together, do business among themselves. That is why when you go to a brewery, We've got over 500 acres at one end. At Bokobi Hills, we've got over 200 acres in one end. We want to use real estate as the vehicle, as the instrument to assemble our people together. If I go to the state and I said, guys, I want all of you to come to Ghana, where am I going to house them? So I am using real estate. Our company is using real estate mm -hmm. to bring all of them together and then work together, do business together, live together. If you have 20 people, 20 companies mm -hmm. doing similar things. I think we can uh, actually go to the, okay. the, the next level, yeah. All right, just real briefly, give me a step-by-step -step people coming in 
you know, what to expect uh, from the initial consult to buying a house or looking at uh, designs with architects, what should they expect step by step? Because most of our client buys the, uh, the properties off plan. Uh, we have one process for off plan, sorry, and then those who buy in person. So what we do if you are buying from uh, outside the country is you could decide to go for a legal representative or a rep that will come and do all the due diligence uh, process for you. Once you are interested, we will share a layout. For example, if you are buying the land, we have a layout with a well-designed uh, communities. We will present the layout. You choose your plot. We prepare the contract of sale. If you are outside, you sign electronically. We will issue a docu sign. Once mm -hmm. you sign, you then go ahead and do what? Make your payment. Once you make your payment, you are give, issued with receipts. And just what? Just what? Five working days, you have your lease. We'll mail it to you via DHL, straight to Europe, straight to North America, whatever I do. Within three days, you have your document. If you want us to register for you, you sign, keep your copy, send us back, and then we'll sort it out for you. And so then you can start to build. You're able to take care of everything in-house. That is why we are one-stop shop. Excellent. Right? Excellent. <laughs> okay, great. Um, what's your approach to project management, timelines, budgets, and changes? People have a flexibility or is it, hey, this is what we offer, this is the price, and that's it? So our project management actually starts from um, architectural design. If you have your architectural design already, you present it to us. And then we, our team of engineers will assess your plan and uh, be able to make recommendations. Once we go uh, from that stage, what we'll do is we'll do bill of quantity. The bill of quantity will capture every stage of the project. Now, what we offer is pay as you go. Pay as you go service. So for example, if you say, I want you to construct my substructure, we will do the substructure. If you want to have substructure and superstructure, we will do both of them. Now, when we charge you, we'll give you a timeline. For instance, this bill of quantity is just for six months. So once okay. you make the payment within the six month period, every variation that comes, we are going to absorb that cost. So that's how we handle it. Nice, yes. nice. Yes. Okay, um, quality standards. I was very impressed coming into oh, the guys, office Oh guys, take a here. look at the office. Take a look uh, at the office. Yeah. <laughs> so I was very impressed. That carries over to what we're going to see on site when we visit the site. You know, for us, whatever we build or whatever property we sell, we want to feel like, can we also buy this property if the other person is the opposite person is selling it to us we try to always put ourselves in your shoes we don't just sell to you what we want to sell if we go scouting for land if i don't want to live in such a development i wouldn't want to buy it and sell it to you so everything that we are going to build for you we want to feel like if i'm paying do i want to be, have that kind of project right, right. so we do just as uh, we will do for ourselves. And mind you, we also have our own development. We are developing for ourselves. So we have all these experiences that we are bringing on board to also help our clients. All right. Last question that I'm going to ask you here in the office. We're going to go out on site and I've got plenty Come of on, questions. I'm ready. I'm ready to go Last, outside. last I'm ready question to go outside. I'm ready here to go outside. is, is post-construction warranty support. There's a lot of people that, hey, once they give you that key, they're done with you. No. So that's why I said that Royal Kingdom Estate is the family. I've got people who have been doing business with us in the last 10 years, mm -hmm. and they are still with us. Um, technically, we have a six month warranty. Okay. And six months to be able to check if everything is okay. But me, we, we are, our business is like a family oriented. That is why we say Royal Kingdom. So, Tony, today, you have been initiated into the Royal Kingdom. Okay, great. I'm I'm actually looking forward, folks, to go and see this plot of land you talked about <laughs> earlier. So, um, Danny, why don't we do this? Why don't we uh, take a trip out to a yes, brie? Yes, we are going to site, and guys, we are going to show you amazing, amazing, amazing lands, amazing project. Are you ready? Come on, let's go to site. <laughs> Sounds good to me. <laughs> Thank you.
Hey guys, so I am on site here. I got my man Desmond with me. He is the Chief Operating Officer for Royal Kingdom Estates. And we're on site, something I'm usually not accustomed to here in Ghana, but um, we've been promising to bring videos about um, uh, building and development. So these are the people we need to talk to. Uh, Desmond, appreciate your time, bro. I appreciate your time too, Tony. All right. so. We are in, where are we at right now? We are at a Brie Amam from. Okay, so of course we'll be in a Brie, my, my, my hometown, right? Exactly. So um, where are we standing? What what part of, of, of your development is this? All and right, so this is phase three. A Brie Amam from is actually at the center of uh, the eastern region itself. Okay. So going through, towards the left, we're going to Misawam. Mm -hmm. Or we're going towards the, the right, you go into the Pibiasi Lodge where right. the president takes his rest and all. Yes. So we actually at the central point, you have all the views that you would need. The mountain views so stunning over here. And this is why I love Abri so much is the mountain views. Can't get enough of it. Absolutely. All right. So people have been coming to the state from the states and they've been coming to you guys saying, hey, we want to buy a house. We want to build a house. How are they able to come out here and get get some land like I see in the background there's some land out Absolutely. here somebody's building I see more people grading out there getting ready to build how are they out here coming meeting you guys okay so we are we are everywhere okay um, and and what we're trying to do is to preach the good news to all our brothers that Africa is here to stay right this is the dawn of a new era where we have to change the status quo we have to build Africa so what we're doing is that at Great City over here, we have 500 acres and we have broken them into phases. Phase one is sold out, phase two is sold out, phase two over there, and this is phase three. And what we're even doing is that because of the demand, we, in fact, I'm saying this for the first time, we are expanding phase three by a whooping 30 acres as we speak now. Phase three wow. is currently 58, we are adding 30 to it. Wow, so you got a lot of land out here. Absolutely. Okay, so phase two is over here being developed. Exactly. We're standing in phase three. Phase three, three absolutely. So I want to get a plot out here. I'm looking for you guys to get a plot. Do I just come out here and say, hey, Desmond, I like this area over here. Can I, can I, you know, put some money down, buy some land over here and just start Absolutely. Building? So what we do is that we have a layout. The whole place is well cut out okay so we have a layout once somebody comes in tony comes and tells me i need this particular plot if it's sold out you're going to see on the layout that is sold out now what happens is that there is a good news that i want to preach to everybody and i want you to hear me out very well number one here at phase three you are not just buying land you are buying a piece of mind you are equally buying we are, what we are doing here is you have to build to play and to work okay so let me explain at phase three, it is going to be a gated community. Royal Kingdom Estate is going to build the security gate house without going to homeowners for anything. Okay. Again, we are going to build an entire perimeter fence wall so that it, is, it becomes gated. So nice. you'll not be able to go anywhere when you are with them so that your properties are protected. Okay. And we don't just do that here. We do it on all our developments. We have the view. We have, again, what we call a Black Star Village. Right. Black Star Village, the view, they are all located around the Brekusu area. And one thing about the view is that it is partly Greater Accra, partly Eastern Region. And the view is stunning. When you stand there, you see the whole of Accra. So you wake up in the morning, you tell your neighbors, Good morning, Accra! And here yeah. you are. So this is, these are the processes. So you come, we give you the, the layout, you go through it, you pick a plot. After you have picked your plot, the first thing we will ask you is your ID because we have to be able to give you your documentation. Right. Our documentation at Rackingham Estate takes between five working days to seven working days, maximum. Between five and seven working days. So once you have chosen your plot, we will give you what we call a purchase agreement so that we have an agreement between ourselves before you make payment. We have two types of payment. We have the outright, then we have the installment basis. For installment, you do 50%. The 50% is spread within six months for you. Uh, so that's just what happens. And over here, it's going for a cool 65,000 Ghana cities. A plot, 65,000 Ghana exactly. cities. Exactly. But if you are doing installment 
it's going for 75,000 okay. dollars it is. Okay. So just a little, you little know, more. For the, exactly. oh, oh yeah, a exactly. little interest on there, yeah. I understand. And what we do is that Rock and Roll Estate is a, a one-stop shop. We build, we design, we decorate, we do everything. If you buy with us and you want us to register your land for you, we will do it for you. If you want to do it yourself, we have no problem. What we are even doing is that everybody here, when you buy today, you can start building tomorrow. Okay. Why are we doing so? We have an arrangement with the municipal assembly. We have an arrangement with the town and country planning de departments. We have made sure these lots are well demarcated. We are standing on the main road here. We have two plots, a main road, two plots, a main road. So there are roads linking every place. So you can be able to drive through swiftly without any issue. So this is a well thought out development. It's not just pick your land and, and shoot here and then you got some snake of a, no, of a road. This no. is a thought out development. Exactly. Yes. And, okay. and, and, and ex again, what we did was that we liaised with the town and country planning department. They have to be able to accept our layout. It's so it is uh, it's accepted nationally. So it's, it's gone into the national grid for them to be able to pick all those things. So this is a well planned community. Okay, excellent to hear. Let's talk about plot sizes. Um, what are your plot sizes out here? Our plot sizes is 0 0.16 of an acre, which is 70 by 100. 70 by 100. Yes. Okay. And if I wanted to get two plot sizes, you can do that as well. If exactly. I get two plots and you can stack those two on top if of each other. If you want two, if you want three, if you want four, if you want five, any number of that you want. So like I mentioned earlier on, once you have the layout, you just go through it, select your plots, you are good to go. And like I said, buy today, buy now, start building. Let's we talk about, let's talk about, let's say if I wanted something like a, maybe a two-story house. Yeah. And, um, I, I start with you next week. Yeah. What am I looking at turnkey from 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 signing with you and everything going smooth as far as I'm getting you the money on time and, and you getting uh, all the permits and all the registrations and all that on time. What are we looking at from turnkey from you? You shoveling that first dirt to here, here are your keys, Mr. Jones. 12 months. 12 maximum. months. Maximum. 12 months maximum. Yes. Minimum 10 months. Minimum 10 months, but 12 months max. That's a year to build a house. Exactly. That's unheard of here in Ghana, man. Well, we, in fact, that's what we are doing. We are changing the status quo. Mm -hmm. And and like you, you rightly mentioned, it's 10 key. So it includes decoration and everything. Decoration, everything. So I don't have to be a stylist or anything. You'll come and decorate my house. We do for everything me. for you. I'm going to hold you to that, man. Oh, hey, I'm going to hold you to that. Of course, of course. And I want you to hold me to that. <laughs> <laughs> You'll come and decorate everything. Exactly. Okay. So let's talk about getting water and, and uh, resources in here. Um, you have, uh, what are you using for water? Okay. So we are liaising. You see, one, one good thing is that, unless of course you don't know what happens in Ghana. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, we, we have a system where, when it comes to electricity, we have the uh, Electricity Corporation of Ghana providing us with electricity power. We have the Ghana Water Corporation also giving us water. Again, a brie is noted for its clean, sweet water. If you like, you can, you can dredge your own borehole in your house, supply yourself with water without having to buy from anybody. Mm -hmm. But again, there are plans to be able to get water over here from the Ghana Water Company. Okay. Yes, as we speak now, plans are underway. In fact, right from here, we are going back to the ECG today so that they're able to build substations for all the phases so that you, you have your own uh, substation to be able to supply you with electricity power. Okay. I, I got this burning question, man. A lot of people want to know why development is like this in Ghana. In, in the West, in the West, you know, we do construction a little different. When we develop something, we, we bring in a road and we say a piece of land is going to go here, a piece of land is going to go there, and uh, this is what we're selling. And the roads are in before anything else. Why are developers bring in the road last why is that part of what happens here okay. and is that what you plan on doing all right okay thank you so much so first of all let me state this rock and Lomb estate is not building the roads for free for homeowners mm -hmm. what we are selling is not service plots these are semi service so what we are doing is the perimeter fence wall for the entire estate and then the security post. That's what I mentioned at the very beginning. Mm -hmm. So once the whole place lot is, is, is complete, 
we will get uh, our homeowners to be able to come together so that we are able to plan and build infrastructure. But let me explain this. Now, the construction that goes on in Africa is way different from what goes on outside Africa. Right. The climates are not the same. The methodologies are not the same. So they are very, very ch uh, changes. Now, you realize that up there in the West, they normally go for dry walls. Mm -hmm. Over here, we go for solid block walls. Right. It means that you have 3,000, 5,000 tons of trucks flying on the, on, the, on the roads. What happens is that it gives so much weight onto the earth. So you need to be able to do the civil stuff first before you go to the roads, else they are going to get spoiled. Okay. So what happens is that uh, we, what we do normally, if you watch, um, even if we are supposed to do the service plots, it is normally segmented into sectors. So you pick a sector, you finish construction, you finish the, the roads, you close that side for only homeowners to be able to drive their uh, saloon cars and uh, SUVs on it. Then you move to a, a different sector and begin to do the same. That is what happens. Okay, yes. I got you. I got you. All right, so as the foreign people come over here and you have a work with them, what challenges are they meeting and how are you able to help them get through these challenges? Well, the only challenge I would say we have currently is um, issues with trust. Okay. Because we have had so many stories about Africa, about people swindling other people, and those are just the issues that uh, uh, people usually have. So what we do is that we take our time to allow people to do their due diligence, mm -hmm. to be able to speak with other people who have been able to purchase from us, to be able to see how smooth and transparent the process is. Once they are okay with it, we, we don't have any problems. Okay, yeah. that's great. Um, and in your experience, are you able to, you know, help people with with their insecurities coming here? And what's what's like one of a horror story of some somebody you heard get maybe getting swindled and now coming to you or something like that? You have any horror stories you've heard? Well, I can speak of. You see that project over there uh, is for one of our clients. Uh, they are even on, on YouTube. The board list in Ghana. Okay. So what they told us was that he came to Ghana got a property, went to buy property and it didn't go that well. They saw our advert came to us and within five days, they were able to get their paperwork. They, as we see it here, this is, this is evidence. They are done building and I can tell you they have bought other plots again behind again because they love the place. Okay. Yes, so, so that's what we are able to do. We want the evidence. We want people to see what we can be able to do so that people are excited about what is happening. All right, great. That's great. All right, so you got people covered coming in and making them feel secure. That's one of the reasons why, you know, we're we're dropping you in our video. Um, but let's talk about phase three again to um, commercial uh, buildings. If, if I wanted to buy a plot and let's say uh, be able to come in with a restaurant or something like that, are you integrating uh, commercial and residential in your, um, in your phase three area or is that something or is it all just residential phase three is all just residential okay. we don't want anybody's peace to be tampered with okay but what we're doing is that phase one we have an area for commercial activities and what we do is that you come to us we want to know what exactly you are going to do in terms of uh, the, the commercial plots we want to sit with you because we want things done in a very refined manner so we are, we, are, we are every step of the way ensuring that everybody is happy. So over here is entirely residential. Okay, so just to wrap this all up, you guys take care of everything on site. You have your own builders uh, that come in, you have your own architect that comes in, you work with people um, getting, getting land as far as registration, Absolutely. Uh, making sure that is worry free. Exactly. Uh, let's see, you got phase one sold out, phase two, just about sold out. Phase three is going to be sold out. Exactly. You guys got to cover and it's going to be a gated community. All of them. Okay. So how do we get in contact with you again, Desmond? We are dropping our contacts right at the bottom of this video. Okay. Uh, you can be able to contact the office anytime we have our email addresses as well send us an email 
call us. We are here to be able to provide you with your needs. And if you have any doubts, what we, in fact, we love people who have doubts. Come conduct your own due diligence. Come with your surveyors. Pick any part that you want. Go conduct your search. Come, we are right here. Okay, Desmond has made me a believer and made me comfortable enough to say, Desmond, I'm gonna see you on site when we start building Absolutely. my land, man. We start Absolutely. building. All right. <laughs> Thank All you right. so much. We appreciate it. All right.